glory be to god and this morning i'm going to speak to you under the caption et i can trust the lord amen hallelujah et i can trust the lord amen can you read a beautiful beautiful uh, 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 passage from the book of habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 and 18 though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food though there is no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls it i will rejoice in the lord hallelujah and i'll be joyful in god my savior people of god when you go through a life you got to have the concept of life when we are born and when we grow and when we do different walks of our life we have a concept of life and we know how to set our life whether you are a christian or a non christian or for that matter you believe god or you don't believe god doesn't matter you want to have a lifestyle and you want to set your life the way you want it for that you do lot of efforts and you put lot of inputs into that but as you and me or christians and more than that we are the believers and we believe the word of god and we believe there is a plan and the purpose of god concerning our life and we believe that god is good and god is merciful and god is going to handle our lives i tell you in jesus name for you and me to have a a, a perfect and a, a, and a spirit filled uh, uh, life you got to understand the concept of life in a different way amen hallelujah you got to understand the concept of life in a different way and when you want to set life in a way god wants you to be i wanted to tell you certain things you got to change your mindset act i will trust god in the in the worst of your situation you got to say it i will trust god in the worst of your uh, uh, mental sicknesses or mental ailments you can say yet i trust god in the worst of your uh, financial situation you could uh, in a position say it i will trust god i can trust god i in the worst of your uh, uh, career or in the worst of your uh, uh, situations or challenges i don't know what you are going through but my point is doesn't matter whatever you're going through nothing is beyond this word of god amen hallelujah doesn't matter where you are how you are what you are there's nothing impossible for the god who can do mighty and miracle things in the name of jesus this is what i am speaking this morning but the thing is you got to set your mind in such a way that you can't even see i mean you can't always expect something from the lord that lord will give you all in a material sense but you got to transform your mind and to see god is something beyond what you can think of the material sense your change your, your your mindset will change the blessing of god into your life your mindset will change and bring the blessing of god into your life this is what habakkuk is talking about people of god when you understand god we can't understand god because it is good and we don't understand i mean we, we can't say god is good when he is doing good and we can't say god is bad when he is doing bad good and bad is your mindset but for god it is something beyond that why do i believe god why do i trust god this is what the concept you got to enter into that so that you can life can change not only in the material sense but in your spiritual sense in your secular sense wherever you are your life will be changed amen hallelujah glory be to god people of god habakkuk is saying peace and joy no longer dependent on the circumstances what's the verse let me read the verse can i keep that verse for you can i keep that verse for you what is that what the verse says though the fig tree does not that means is talking about something nothing is working out for people please listen I, my my message is simple this morning but my message i want you to understand that so that something can work in your mindset if it does not work in your mind it never works anywhere on your life amen so what is trying to tell is though the fig tree does not bud that means there's no figs in the in the barns there's no figs and they're saying there's no grapes there's no wine 
there is no olive crop there is no produce of food there is no sheep in the pen there is no uh, uh, you know cattle in the stalls that means everything is dry he is trying to explain a word everything is dry when everything is dry in your life he is saying yet i will rejoice in the lord my people i request you i beseech you this morning there is something powerful the lord laid in my heart i want you to convey to this morning when everything is going worst when everything is going bad when everything is going awkward when everything is going lack when everything is going always you know against you that's the time he is saying hey learn to rejoice in the law because the rejoicing spirit is not dependent on what is happening outside but the rejoicing spirit is always inside of you how you are connected to the law and how you can see the law big and better in your life amen hallelujah glory be to god and he's saying no matter what happened i choose god you know why you are set on this earth not to receive the blessing you are set on this earth for you to enter into the kingdom of god in other words eternity so your goal on the earth is not money your goal on the earth is not riches your goal on the earth is good health or strength or anything it's all okay but your motive and the goal on the earth is lord i want to be with you in eternity and that's the reason whatever come i rejoice in the lord because these are all temporal and it will fade away but the eternity of god will live forever and ever i'll change my mindset not on the things of the world but i see the things in heaven that is what habakkuk is talking let me add this when you seek the lord when you see the heavenly things when you seek the heavenly things when you go after heavenly things when you go after the eternity let me tell you god in his omniscient knowledge is designed a life not to be a beggar on this place but you will be better on this place for anybody amen hallelujah because god is already designed but what we are looking is we are only looking for the material things that we can you know worship god but we are forgetting the eternal plan of god what is designed for you and this morning i want to speak to you in Jesus. the same doesn't matter whether fig tree buds or not whether olive grain or olive has produced wine or not whether there's a field crop or not whether there you know cattle in the uh, uh, sheds or not and all these things exist or not but i know one thing my god exists hallelujah this is a faith you got to have it I don't say problem does not come. Problem comes only for the human beings. Amen. Hallelujah. God has designed you in such a way you can overcome any problem. That's the reason God allows the problem only to the humans. Hallelujah. Because your system is so powerful. Your system is so accustomed to God's power so that when you receive the power of God, anything comes on your way is no way before you. that's a design of god you are you are prepared are you are you, you you are designed to reign to subdue and to control hallelujah the three commands the lord has given unto adam on the day when he created on the face of death and he given the everything perfect to adam amen hallelujah be oh god help us to understand when god makes you when god creates you god creates your future first and then creates you into the future amen hallelujah he does not put you into the present he does not put you into the past god creates you god creates you and puts you into your future hallelujah you know what's the future of adam he has to control he has to reign and subdue that is the purpose of god but when you fall you miss the purpose when you fall when you look only for the material thing you're missing the very purpose of god this is what i want to tell you this morning at i will rejoice in the lord at i can hope in the lord people of god i tell you we will have problems we will have troubles we will have sicknesses we will have anything else, but nothing can stop me nothing can overcome me nothing can control me rather i will control everything in jesus name hallelujah with this tone I wanted to speak to this one. Habakkuk was so powerful because his intention is eternity. It intention is God's perfect plan. Hallelujah. In and another thing you understand, God knows better than you. Amen. 
many times we muck up our life but at you surrender god will change the turn around for you amen hallelujah understand god knows your present situation better than you know about it amen hallelujah can i hear one amen whatever you are going through whatever you are going through that's what the lord put in my heart whatever you are going through you got to say that i can still trust in the lord amen hallelujah yet i will trust him. yes i'm going through a very bad phase in my life yes yet i can trust god hallelujah i'm going through a very bad sick phase in my life yet i can trust god hallelujah i'm going through a very bad financial stage in my life yet i can trust god i'm going through very bad relationships in my life yet i can trust god i'm going through very bad secular life in my life yet i can trust god let come any situation yet i can trust god amen i'm using a word i can trust god i'm not using the word i will trust god please look into the grammar when i say i can trust you it is my choice whether i can i cannot am i right Oh God help us this is where you got to understand that's what I'm saying at I can trust God it's not I will God is always trustworthy whether you trust him or you don't trust him he is a trustworthy that's not the question the question is whether you can trust God or you can't trust God can I hear one amen am i god so when you say i can trust god it is a choice that god is living with you and i'm going to take you a couple of examples from the word of god and how the trusting in the lord can or cannot happen in the lives of people amen hallelujah am i making it sense to you the bible tells me in mark uh, uh, 9:23 jesus said jesus said to him if you can believe all things are possible for one who believes you know what jesus said if you believe no 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 good translation says if that means god always a god who leaves choice to you hallelujah in the worst of your situation it is your choice to see how you see the problem amen hallelujah if you see it i trust god though i'm in the weakness though i'm in the sickness though i'm going through a hard stage or whatever you call it it i can trust god that's what we are talking this morning it's your choice you can trust god i can leave god i can trust god i can trust some x y z what is your view of seeing your life when you are in a crisis this is what the lord is talking for the past 3 weeks when you are in a crisis what kind of mindset you have what kind of knowledge of god you have what kind of imp- uh, inputs you have many people it's not that they don't have the word of god knowledge they have the knowledge but they don't know how to apply the knowledge because they don't have the discerning amen hallelujah glory be to god jesus said if you can believe It's a question people of God. I'm not saying, see. I'll ask you a question. Can God do God is able to do things? We all know everybody says yes. Amen. But when say can God do to you is a question mark. For others we can believe. When it comes to me, it's a question mark. Hey, we all lift our hands. Yes, God is able. God can do all things. But when it comes to you, let me hang on and see can you really do for me? Am I right? That's what God is giving the choice. If you believe it, you receive it. If you don't believe it, no. If you can believe all things. When you God said all things, it is all things. He talks about your healing, he talks about your health, he talks about your finances, he talks about your relationship, he talks about your secular life, he talks about your emotional life, he talks about your education, he talks about everything because all things are included in that thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So God is saying all things are possible for whom? For the one who believes. God is leaving that we we have a you know in the management we have the open end question and closed end questions God always gives you open end questions so that you can answer whether yes or no hallelujah 
What a beautiful thing it is. It is an open end question. If one can believe, he is not closing the door, he is opening the door and leaving it to your choice whether you can receive it or not. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. People of God, I want you to understand logically. This is a reasonable, logical with supernatural power. Hallelujah. This book is a reasonable book, logical book. God is never against the logic. Amen. Hallelujah. But what he does is supernatural. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, Jesus said, if you can believe. And this morning I tell you, in the name of Jesus, those who are watching, those who are here, how is your belief system in your life? If your belief system is weary, your life is always a weary. If your belief system is strong, you can see the glory of God. Because God is saying all things are possible for the one who believes. He's not marking all things are possible for the pastors who believe. All things are possible for the evangelists who believe. All things are possible for the prophets who believe. Isn't it? No. Is an open end question for everybody. All things believe. Those who believe, doesn't matter who they are. You believe God, you see the miracle of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me go quickly, quickly, quickly. Why we are unable to believe God? Is it not that I'm not a Christian? Yes, I do. I am a Christian. Is it not that I don't know the word of God? Yes, I do. I just want to show you one verse and I continue. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3. Verses 5 and 6. Amen. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3. Verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own. Understand. This is where the problem. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I love this word heart. How many of you have hearts here? Oh. Only David has got heart. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> People of God, this heart can make you or break you. This heart can build you or destroy you. Nothing, not, not, nothing of this. See, your signal, what you have in the heart will be sent to your mind and from mind to the body. So the heart, that's what it says. Create, the, David says, create in me a pure heart of God and renew a steadfast spirit within me. A pure heart is what God, a pure heart to surrender to the word of God. A pure heart to surrender to the promise of God. Yes, see, we, we, we receive from, even last week I explained to you very clearly. We receive you submit to someone who God asks you to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Promises can never be achieved if you don't come into the process of submission, obedience and patience. There are three things for your promise to be fulfilled. One is a submission to the authority whom God has given you. And the second one is a patience to hang on there till God asks you to do. And the third one is exercise the promise of God. I mean, the faith of God. Amen. Now God says, saying, in all ways submit to him. That him could be anybody. Why we have our own understanding is because we are foreseeing something that's going to affect us. Listen carefully. Psalms 112 verse 7, the Bible tells me, He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. I'll read another translation. This, I love it. And it's beautifully conveyed to you. He is not afraid of the bad news. People are afraid of what? bad news but the one who trusts in the Lord he will never be afraid of the bad news his heart is firm trust, trusting in the Lord hallelujah people of God your own understanding is playing because you are foreseeing something a bad or a evil to affect you and because you foreseeing uh, uh, put it this way because you are not seeing anything that the Lord is doing around you but you can only foresee what is the evil that is going to around you what you are doing instead of trusting in the Lord you are leaning on to your own understanding to skip that but unfortunately we are falling back am I making it sense so what the Bible says is don't afraid of evil let it be physical or spiritual including me I have to speak to myself amen hallelujah 
and the word of god speaks it speaks to everybody we are no exception i tell you always we are no as we preach god speaks to us and we build within us amen hallelujah i cannot be afraid for everything because god has finished a plan for me and i'm walking in that plan if you have that confidence praise god hallelujah doesn't matter that's what david said even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil no bad news Hey David you have been chased man I don't care about that news hallelujah because I have something my throne is ahead of me you are seeing the problem i'm seeing the blessing hallelujah you are seeing i'm being chased but i'm seeing i'm being chased to sit on the throne of god amen hallelujah because god has established a throne for david and david is going to sit on the throne doesn't matter what happens doesn't matter where he goes doesn't matter who comes against him doesn't matter what anything happen whatever the evil cannot stand because he is pursuing one thing that god has promised me and he is going to do that me what i have to do is submit Glory be to God. Trust in the Lord. Don't worry of the bad news. Bad news are always been against us. I'm telling you, I'm crazy, church. Yes, your health is tormenting you. Don't. I mean, what I'm saying is, it's not that you don't worry. What I'm saying, trust God. Hallelujah. Worry is no bad. Worry is not uh, wrong. But worrying for the wrong things is wrong. Hallelujah. Worrying for the things that are not going to happen is wrong. Worrying the things that you know not even seen in the vicinity is wrong. Worrying something is not wrong because when you worry, you know what to do. Hallelujah. Glory. Everything you got to be very logical. And Bible never said that close your eyes and go. No. I wanted to show you because again I'm bringing back the Habakkuk thought. what his thought was lord whether figs are there or not whether wine is there or not whether cattle is there or not whether this is there or not whether the, anything material things are there or not i can stick it i can trust god because you can change things overnight hallelujah you can speak to people and you can change what that's what happened to the people of israel god changed overnight why i'm saying is if god can make the kingdom fall in in overnight god can do anything and everything into your life overnight in jesus name because my god is the same yesterday today and forever he never changes and his word will never change heaven earth will pass away but the word of god will never ever pass away because he is the one who created everything under him and for him glory be to god nothing nothing glory be to god at i can trust god at i can trust god in the midst of all these things at i can trust god god people of god i want to quickly take you to a person in the bible whom we are very well aware of that story it's called job how many of you heard of job we all heard of job job means a man who is tested by god that you are understanding now but when job is going through that job has never been understood is tested by god hallelujah because of the past you are understanding but in the you are in the present you don't understand the same way i tell you now we are in a situation you are not understanding but after one or two years you cross the situation then it become the past and understand oh god has made me go through for this reason hallelujah can i even amen Did you get me what I'm saying? When you're going through the present, you never recognize what God is going to do. You never recognize what God's plans are. You never recognize why God is taking you through that path. But after you cross that, then you realize and say, "Oh, this is way God took me there." And I give you a man by name Job, and he said, "You know this story. He's a very well rich man." and overnight he became pauper and not only pauper the devil went to the lord and said hey he lost everything but at his trusting god you know why he is bodily healthy amen hallelujah if you give the authority over his body and i'll show you he can curse you with his mouth why i brought that example at i can trust it's not i will trust god it's a choice why why i tell you is a choice why i tell you is a choice because the wife the wife of his own coming and telling you know what he's saying hey i'll read that word for you job chapter 2 verses 9 10 you know what he's saying then job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with 
uh, uh, with it as he sat among that means he was in the ashes you know all his body was oh god let god somebody speak to you this morning i don't know how your body condition i don't know how bad you are how worse you are but one thing i tell you you're not worse than job hallelujah you're not worse than his condition you're not worse than his predicament you're not worse than his personality he's not worse than his situation you're not more than worse than job but job can give you that freedom and that clearance and that blessing to job how much more he can give you the same healing and virtue and blessing this morning in jesus name i declare it to the church hallelujah glory be to god we're not worse than job job lost everything overnight he lost his sons he lost his daughter he lost his cattle he lost his camel he lost his servant everything overnight and his body was thinking and he was scratching with a pottery are you worse than that my child whoever listening to this word are you worse than job if my god can answer job he can answer you this morning in jesus name hallelujah trust god you know what wife is telling amen curse god and die you know who is telling this the own partner the own wife who shared all the riches and blessing you know she come to a point and she's telling you know verse nine his wife said to him are you still maintaining your integrity oh i love that word we cannot maintain integrity in the spiritual life if you don't have blessing you cry unto the lord the minute god bless you you are out of the church as seen empty number of people they cry till the lord us bless you the minute god bless you you won't be seen in the that's integrity when he is maintaining the integrity he was sitting in the you know heap of ashes and he took a pottery thing and he's scratching because he can't have anything he's scratching because it's so painful to him he's all bleeding uh, uh, you know pus and festering in the midst of that he's maintaining integrity you know what's the meaning of integrity not when somebody gives you 10 bucks and not somebody gives you some money to you that's not the time integrity integrity is one when you're standing alone and not to anybody to your god you know what wife is saying and uh yeah verse 9 his wife said to him are you still maintaining your integrity curse god and die i read one translation The minute what you understand this curse god and die a wife can say curse god and die we think that she is the worst of the women on the earth amen right but that's not that i read in one translation she could not see the pain of her husband and the bible in the old testament day there's a saying that if you curse god god will kill you so she doesn't want to see his agony anymore at least you curse god god will kill you that was the meaning of her she's a loud woman the bible tells she could not see the husband suffering and because she knew if somebody curses god god will strike them and die that's the reason she said curse god and die but his answer is he replied you are talking like a foolish woman shall we accept good from the lord and not trouble oh god give her, give me the grace give me the grace that i can say that word give me the grace to the church that they can say that word give us the grace lord we can say this word what is that word only good we can receive not the bad from the lord blessing 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 the whole christianity is flooded with the word blessing and prosperity i'm not against that but more blessing is not in the money more blessing is not in the cars more blessing is not in the houses more blessing is not in anything material you call the blessing is integrity to the lord hallelujah the blessing is lord i am ready to receive anything from you good and bad are equal to me hallelujah at the i will rejoice in the lord at the i will praise god at the i will say thank you god at the i will say lord i trust you that is what the spirit of god is speaking to the church this morning at you can trust god you are not worse than a job you are not worse than somebody but at you are not trusting god god is saying at you can trust god and is a choice for you 
It's a choice for you. God always gives you a choice. It's your choice. You want to take it or not? It's your choice. Come and listen to this. In Job 13, 15, the Bible tells me, Though he slay me, it will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before the Lord. What a powerful, powerful statement. What he's saying? Even you slay me, it, oh God, please let this grace fall on us. Let this grace fall on this church. Let this grace fall on these people. Let this grace, Lord, let us not flood away with the so-called prosperity and blessing, but let us see the reality of the blessing of God in our lives, in our families, in our businesses, in our church, in our everything we do. Lord, let the eyes be open to the reality that you are talking about this morning. Hallelujah. It, I will trust God. Even you slay me, I trust God. You know why? Even you slay me, you can make me life. Amen. Hallelujah. He can bring me back to life in Jesus. I'm going to show you that example. Job. I'll ask you, people who are watching this morning. I'm asking the church who is sitting this morning. Are you worse than Job? My point is, if, jo- if God can do Job, He can do for you. Hallelujah. This is my point. If God can answer Job, He can answer you. It's a matter of time. Hang on. Hang on. It's a matter of time. God, the, the time will come. God will exalt you. The time will come. God will lift you up. The time will come. You know, I can see another verse in the Bible in thing. When God makes you go through, it is for the restoration, not uh, harming you. Hallelujah. When God makes you go through it, when you show the integrity, when you prove God that you are something better than other, it is not for, you know, destroying you. It is for your restoration that what God has given you in the beginning, He will make it a uh, hundredfold to bless you. Glory be to God Maintain the integrity Maintain the word of God Maintain the status of God Not on your own understanding Come to the understanding of the word of God Come to the reality of the word of God If God gives you a promise uh, Learn to submit uh, Learn to surrender Learn to be patient uh, Learn to wait on the Lord uh, That you may see the fulfillment of God's promise in your life In Jesus name Hallelujah Glory be to God it I can trust God what a man he is people of God I'll tell you another man who said it I can trust God Abraham Abraham I want your only son Bible tells me he specifically said I want the only son amen you don't have 10 sons I know that you know what we ask? Lord, do I have ten pence, uh, ten sons that you're asking one son? Lord, you gave me this. It's your promise. And I waited 25 years to get this promise. And now this promise you wanted to snatch from me. You wanted to take it away from me. You wanted to destroy it. You want I don't know what all words we use. We, we know better than you know. He's saying, you know what he's saying? At I can trust God. Even my son, I kill him. Yet I can trust God. I don't know how he does, but he does. Because he's a promise keeper. Oh, hallelujah. He's a way maker, promise keeper, miracle worker. I trust a God who is not an ordinary God. He's a way maker. He makes a way in every way. Hallelujah. He's a promise keeper. Doesn't matter what of the situation. Doesn't matter what of the condition. He is a promise keeper and he knows how to keep his promises. Not only that, he is a miracle worker. Hallelujah. Way maker, promise keeper, miracle worker is working among us. Hallelujah. Praise God in the name of Jesus I tell you you know what he's saying Hebrew 11 okay before Hebrew I read Genesis uh, uh, Genesis chapter 2 uh, 22 verse 5 the, the story is they went on to the mountain to the place and they had to go and give sacrifice Isaac there and come back and that's a time Abraham is talking to the servants there. You know what he's saying? He said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there to the Mount Moriah. We 
will worship and then we will come back he did not say we can come back he said affirmative statement i will come back oh hallelujah amen he says we will worship him and we will come back to you hallelujah what that means yet i will trust god when god asks my son doesn't matter yet i can trust god is a choice for abraham and he took a right choice how you are taking your choices the choices that can make you are the choices that can break you amen hallelujah your life is always always depend on the choices we take and the choices are always influenced by the people around you oh always god's choice always choice he says if you can trust abraham I'm talking to you directly. I know we have a long path. We have a long way. We already traveled 25 years, uh, but at 25 plus another uh, at least 12 years. Okay, 25 at least definitely 35 years of experience. Abraham is walking with God, and that's a time God is saying, "Hey, I want something from you, man. Can you? Choice. It's up to you. If you want to give, give." Oh Lord, you said that very clearly. Only through this offspring, because Ishmael already been sent. Ishmael is not there. At least you can think of Ishmael. Uh, you know, uh, uh, what, what do you say there? Uh, plan B. He doesn't have plan B. Only plan A. Either yes or no. God will never give you plan B when He asks you. Oh, it's God is speaking something powerful this morning. God never given. God never gives you plan B. only one option you have to say yes or no to him he called us are you going to australia yes or no no plan b oh okay if you don't go there okay i'll send you uh, somewhere here so you can work because you are established here no are you going or not yes or no choice is yours and you took a choice it i can trust god hallelujah it i can trust god abraham choices it i can trust you know why, why what's a faith now i read hebrews chapter 11 19 which can abraham reason oh god i love this word reasoning reasoning is so powerful in the word of god you got to reason the word of god that abraham reason what is his reasoning you have thought for a while all right you ask me i'll go there He asked me to give the sacrifice because son is asking, Dad, where is the lamb? Because he has seen so many sacrifices Abraham is giving, he knows for sure that a lamb is required for a sacrifice or some animal is required for a sacrifice. And he did not see that. He asked him, "What is?" It? You know what God said? He will take care. Oh, we can trust this man. Amen. Hallelujah. He can take care. And my point now is. the reason you know what is reason if i go there i put him on the altar and i kill him and i burn him my god can raise all the ash it will rush akarabasa he can raise all the ash together and make me stand another isaac before me who can carry the word of god blessing of god nations of god promises of god i and i can trust god Yet I can trust God, even if it goes to ashes. Yet I can trust God. I believe God can raise my son from the ashes in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Glory be to God. Yet I can trust God in this midst of situation. Yet I can trust God in the midst of chaos. Yet I can trust God in the midst of confused state. Yes, I can trust God. I can trust God. I can trust God. God, God. Because is better than your knowledge. Because he is bigger than your problems. Because he is a creator. He is a alpha and the omega. He is a beginning and the end. He has seen your beginning and the end even before you could be formed in the mother somba. He knows better than you. He know better than your problem. He know better than your solution. He knows everything about you. That's the reason I stand for and say, Lord, I can trust you. Glory be to God. People of God, 
live a life that's worthy of your calling hallelujah if not today tomorrow people will see you know why people will see because you are taking a decision that's required at the point of time you are taking a decision at the time where it is required to say i can stand for god you are taking a decision lord i can stand with my integrity you are taking a stand lord i will stand for you let come what may hallelujah lord it is my choice altogether it is my willingly willful choice to you that i will obey i surrender and i believe in the eternal glory and the power of god you can do anything and all things glory be to god that's what we believe this morning what decisions you take angsters what decisions you take what decisions you take they make you or break you choice is yours i'll just conclude with this in jairus daughter in luke we see jairus daughter you know jesus he comes to he, he comes to jesus jesus my daughter is dying i'll read you one verse verse 41 a man named jesus a synagogue leader came and fell at jesus feet jairus sir all right pleading him to come to his house because his only daughter a girl of 12 was dying he came for a rescue act to jesus is a synagogue leader and lord my daughter have only daughter and she is about to die a uh, dying is about to die is a dying and as they are talking i read in uh, 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 i read in verse 49 while jesus was still speaking someone came from the house of jairus the synagogue leader your daughter is dead he said don't bother the teacher anymore but jairus he said at i can trust god oh hallelujah is it dead at i can trust god is the doors are closed at i can trust god the relationships are so bad it i can trust god the health is not so good it i can trust god the no proper job it i can trust god whatever the situation whatever the circumstance whatever the things that's going around say lord it i can trust you hallelujah this is what god is speaking this morning i can trust god is your choice is choice i'm telling you god will do miracles amen hallelujah those who are those who are have whatever the problem just lay your hands on your chest i'm going to pray as a servant of god and i'm going to release this blessing into your life whatever there's a sickness or weakness or a struggle or a relationship or a finance or a business or a you know marriage or a, a education or something you're looking for something you've been tormenting uh, by so many things maybe evil spirits maybe the powers of darkness whatever it is i tell you in jesus name this morning my god is a trustworthy god as long as you can trust him he will do it miracle in jesus name hallelujah claim the lord lord you i can trust god lord in the worst of this situation lord i'm not as worst as david i mean i'm not as worst as job i'm not as worst as abraham but if you can answer them you can still answer me lord give me the grace i'll take the right decision oh god hallelujah lord i can trust you this morning hallelujah